repair part four. On this video, we're going to show how to finalize this and get the texture on it. So first thing we want to do is get a good look at this. You, it feels smooth, but there's a couple of slight imperfections on here, and I want to show you how you can pick these out. I use a flashlight. I'll turn the lights out and get it dark, and I'll skim this light along the wall. If you have any imperfections on there, you're going to see them. This is a foolproof way to make sure we get all these little imperfections out of here. When the lights are all on it, it looks fine, and it feels smooth. I feel slight ridges right here, but if you're not knowing what to feel for, you may miss it. This way, you won't miss it. I'm going to show you how to check it out. I'll use a flashlight, or if I'm doing a whole wall, I may use a work light. But this flashlight is going to show me every little imperfection. You see this right here? And you see this right here? Those are imperfections that we want to get out when we go to finish floating this and blow it. We don't want to put texture on there and have these little spots showing up. So this shows you all the little imperfections in there. Okay, now we're just going to smooth out these little spots. It'll only take a couple of seconds. I like to make sure to feather the edges because this is what's real obvious. If you have the texture that goes into this smooth part and it's not and it's not really uh, feathered out, you're going to see exactly where this is. So we want to make sure we get these edges feathered good. I'll take the smooth part of the sponge and you can wet it good with this. And then you come back over with that textured part and you can feather it in. Just make sure when you put your primer on that you feather it out. Don't just stop heavy from here to here because if you stop heavy when you go back over to um, paint this you'll see a line where this this primer is okay so you just kind of want to feather it out don't leave any tracks make sure you clean the two sides of here you roll this side and this side on the wall like this and like this that way you don't leave tracks then you come back over and you smooth it out you feather it out now we're ready to spray our home max texture this stuff is fantastic it makes the job real easy you don't even need a hopper or a compressor or anything you just pat your wall and come back and spray it now make sure you shake this up real well and you get that ball rattling in there shake it up for a couple of minutes even after the ball starts rattling because you want to make sure it's mixed up real well okay on top of that when you go to spray this don't fan it like this you're gonna have texture that goes sideways it's gonna look like splatters that are thrown if you take mud and you just throw it on a wall it's going to be elongated when it hits sideways. So keep this nozzle straight and you keep it the same distance off the wall. You don't want to go in and out because you're going to have big blobs and little blobs. It's not going to look even. To do this, you can go in a circular motion or you can come across like this, but just make sure you keep the same distance and you don't turn it sideways. All right, let's get started on this. This is shaking up real well. I've got it on medium tip. And I'll just come across and I'll just spray in a circular motion. I'll look around, make sure I got this even. Okay? Now I can come back with a little bit of a fine texture because I want to fill in a tiny bit to try to blend this out. And when I do it, I'm trying to feather it out. I'm not just going right here in this spot. I'll bring it out a little bit because. A little bit here and it goes into more if this texture doesn't match exact it's going to be real close you'll never even know this is a difference so you want to spread it out okay I'm going to set it on fine and finish this up okay that's it it's finished. The great thing about this Home X spray texture is the fact that you don't need a compressor, you don't need a hopper, all you need is this can. It's perfect for small jobs. Um, if you have a large job, I'm going to show you how to use a hopper and a compressor and do large jobs in different textures, but this thing is perfect for matching what you have on your wall. They have all types of designs and it works great. When you're finished with it, you take this tip off, okay? You can clean this out real good, put it back on, put your cap on, and it's good for several more jobs. Now that we're finished with our primer, we're ready to paint. Only you and I know that there was a hole back there prior to this. You can't see it now.